Okay. Here's the little circuit I made on the breadboard here. And it's the Emotep schematic. And this is the fan. I finally got them all to work. I had uh, mislabeled my wires. Now, the strangest thing, this is the um, potentiometer I was talking about. Uh, I have a few of them here, 1K ohms and 5K ohm. This one happens to say that it's uh, 5KA, so I'm assuming that means 5K amp. <laughs> Not sure, but the um, well, rest of the ink was rubbed off. And what I'm going to show you is uh, what exactly is going on. I have two batteries here. Don't know if you can see it. Oh, there we go. One's a charge on the right, and it's at 0 0.50 volts. And the one on the left is a source, and that's at point or 8.46 volts. So that's going to be our primary battery. So we're just going to test these out. And as you can see, there's the charge battery at 0.5 volts. Kind of hard to do with a cell phone video camera. Can you see that? I don't know. Oh, just turned off. There. Okay. And there it is. As you can see, it's 0 0.498. It seems to drop. I just got it out of the package too, believe it or not. Now, this one is at 8.47. This is the source battery that we're going to use Whoops, at 8.46 volts. Now this is my source right here. This is the source wire right here. And back here is where the charge is. This is where I'll be plugging in the charge. But that isn't important right now. What's odd is that I'm getting the same result without the fan moving and being able to adjust it at different pitches as I was saying in the in the blog there. So I'm going to quickly connect this and as you can see right here it seems that this is where it occurs. It's right when the poles are on the pole on the the poles are matching the coil pole with the magnetic pole and it's not uh, the coil pole itself, the armature isn't going into the equator between the north and south poles and the ring magnet inside the rotor. So, here we go. Now what's going to happen is, I line it up like that, and then I just plug battery on really quickly. i reverse it. And, oh, okay, set it back there. Here it comes. It's hard to do with two or with one hand. All I'm doing is trying to connect it with one hand here. For a sec. Can you see that? Perfect. I like these two hands here. Well, the potentiometer has to be cranked all the way up too for some reason. Okay. go. Okay, now I'm not going to spin it. I'm sure you can hear that. All I did was plug in the battery, align the coil with the armature. Now I'm going to turn up the pot, or turn it down, I mean. Oh, darn it, I went too fast. Great. Here we go again. Okay, let's try this again. Slowly turn it down. Oh, and if you get 
get too high, it kicks off. So, what I noticed, that's not all, I'll try and hurry up and do this in such short time, is So I'm just going to crank it up a bit so you get the point. So here we go. And now I'm going to crank the fan a bit more. Just when the pull of the spatter hits the equator on the magnets, we get a higher frequency. So what I wanted to show you on top of that is our voltage on both sources, or on both uh, batteries. They both increase when you when you actually crank it up. So what I'm going to do is this is connected to the source battery right now. And here's the voltage, and I'm just going to give it a crank to the equator. As you can see, I can increase the voltage and that's making me look like a liar. Bet you I can crank this thing up a bit more. Oh, what happens. Oh, doggone it. That was too close. Hold on a sec.